video is going to show you how to unsupervise devices. So let's say maybe something bad, when ha bad happened and you want to unsupervise the devices or it's at the end of the year and you just kind of want to release all the devices back to its normal state and things like that. Um, or you have to get a device serviced or something like that. So you're going to unsupervise this device so someone else can use it in Apple Configurator. Um, that would be another reason you'd use unsupervised if you want to change it to a different computer and their Apple configurator, you have to unsupervise this first. So if I want to unsupervise number one, I just go ahead and tap on number one. And then I would go up to devices here where under my menu bar, I would go down to unsupervise. I tap on unsupervised. It'll ask me, are you really sure do you want to do this? I do want to do it. Unsupervise that device and you can see that it will actually go back into the prepare state and it'll be in prepare when it's finished. The easy way to do it if you want to do all of your iPads at the same time, I would go to all iPads, go up to your devices, click on unsupervise. I do want to unsupervise my devices. Click on unsupervise your devices and it's going to run through the unsupervised process and it will show all of your iPads back under the prepare column. And that's as soon as they go through and erase all of, the, all of what's on the iPad and that restore that you created, that backup. It's going to take everything off of here and um, it's going to look like it just came out of the box. So that's how you unsupervise your devices. And you can see my number is going up as they are restored back to factory settings. And I'm back up to number 10. I had 10 devices connected, 10 devices supervised. Now I have 10 devices unsupervised. And I can go ahead and start the process over where I'm preparing all these devices again. If I want to supervise them, of course I'd turn supervise on. So good luck this year and thanks for watching.